Good afternoon, Chairman and afternoon. Uh, fellow committee members. My name is Marisol Danis, and I work for Holland Jim Family Dentistry. I'm the office manager. They've been my employer for the past 18 years, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Bill 1536. Um, like Mr. Canales was talking, as far as fairness, is the system right now is providers are guilty before proven innocent. Payment holds are being made without any um, any providers found guilty of misconduct or fraud. And I'm speaking of a more of an administrative side of it, um, being that I've dealt with the audits myself. I have personally experienced the wrath and the manipulation, manipulating tactics the OIG used to intimidate Medicaid providers. I've been through two different audits, the first for orthodontics in 2011, and when the judge ruled in our favor and found no evidence of fraud or misrep misrepresentation in our activities, the same week the OIG returned and demanded additional files because they were opening up a second a second case. The OIG demanded all the documentation to be prepared in three days period. When we asked for more time, they would not grant us an extension and suggested we close our office. When we asked closing our office for three days, rescheduling 700 patients and letting 130 employees go without work wasn't an option for us. But it was beneficial to the OIG at that point because they wanted the documentation by the due date and the due time. <laughs> So we worked hard, selected staff worked hard to get this done. We worked two consecutive days till 2 o'clock in the morning, last day till three, to 11 o'clock in the, in the evening to satisfy the OIG's request. The OIG would check in on the progress of the request and each day would ask for more additional items that were not on the initial written request. During the audit, the OIG requested to speak to doctors and selected staff, which created an upset and disturbance. The staff that were interviewed, included myself, were not very happy. We felt we had no rights. We couldn't have legal re representation. We could not record the interview, and we were told that we couldn't take notes. But then again, the OIG was able to record the conversation. Another upset was due to the line of questioning. As I know, the OIG is to investigate abuse and fraud. We were being asked about our management philosophies, our office rules, and how we handled our staff corrections. This, is, this has nothing to do with Medicaid. A few weeks later, again, for the third time, the OIG came in demanding information on non-Medicaid patients. This was not released to them, being that we had to protect our patients from um, releasing their private information. Still to this day, we haven't heard anything as far as our second audit, and they gave us a timeline of eight weeks, and now we're at 13 weeks and, later, and no decision. The OIG's actions have crippled our office, and have created instability for our staff. We always wonder if today would be the last day that we employ 130 staff members. And I'm telling you my story is because I've seen it firsthand. My speaking out today is not to stop from finding justice in the guilty and stop abuse, but to help the innocent and avoid having Medicaid providers be painted with the same brush. So that's why I am for Bill 1536. Members, any questions for our witness? Ms. Bell? Ma'am, you mentioned that uh, you, in, in the first case that was brought against you by OIC, that you had gone to a judge and they had found that there was no fraud. What, tell, walk me through that. That's what, what? the actual case that Mr. Canales was talking about. Okay. How we went to I was out for a Oh, you were out. Okay. So, yes, we went you know, um, We had a case as far as orthodontics. We were found that we didn't have any, we didn't conduct anything fraudulent or any misrepresentation. <laughs> so, um, we were on a payment hold of 40% at that point. After that was done, then they reduced the, the payment hold, but we are still under payment hold, and now we're waiting for a different trial. She went through the entire process with OIC, and then you appealed it to a, right. a court? And so court. Was it the Travis County Court, or was it in your area? No, SOA. So. So? Mm -hmm. Oh, SOA, so. okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You can't yeah. go to court right, right now. Right, right. That's, that's why I was asking the question. Right. I didn't understand. You're on top of it. Hey, we're trying, Mr. Chairman. Good. You, good. Okay. All right, I got gotcha. you. Is it good, yeah. good or what? good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> Not that good. Um, not bad for a center at all. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.